إله الكون إله الكون قد زادت ذنوبي وفي العصيان قد تاهت دروبي فألهمني طريق الحق دربا ولا تكشف أيا ربي عيوبي Inshallah, good enough from bad um, toxins that lay inside your body. And we're going to go for the, the, the sunnah point, which is the kahil. And that's right here. Inshallah, we're going to detox this place. We're going to clean it with a disinfector. You can use habba soda. You can use olive oil. Olive oil. Uh, but we're going to use a disinfectant, inshallah, a cream, uh, which numbers the skin and disinfects it at the same time. And inshallah, we've been advised by the Prophet وسلم, that you have the best of remedies, and it's in hijama. And inshallah, we'll practice the advice of the Prophet. There's another hadith where the Prophet was in Islam and Miraj, and every heaven that he would go to, the angels would advise him, advise your ummah of hijama. So inshallah, saying that is here I'm trying to demonstrate today inshallah in how to practice and how to do hijama to your families at home inshallah. So the kahin is somewhere around here. So if you measure the shoulder blade here where the bone sticks out and the other one sticks out here, it just lays just right here. So the cup will just go right by that finger there so that's how you measure the care so now now you get i'll give you a sh the shape there you see that's where the care is okay and you don't need to pump too much like so some people that's that was one that was two that was three that was four it's very uncomfortable you don't do that okay no one would like that experience now you can see this mark again to measure where the care is inshallah is this bone here and that bone here, everyone's the same. Everyone's got this bone here. These two bones are the shoulder blades here. The back ones, not the front ones, the back ones. Okay, now measure here, it goes down. The cup should meet here. Okay, so now when you pump, uh, you can't see, if you can't see, I'm gonna just show you in the camera. So you just, you don't, you don't squeeze all the way. You just squeeze. A little bit just like this okay that's what I'm doing just just like this that's one two three just very very light now that shouldn't be painful that should be comfortable for him and he'll feel relaxed now how does that feel brother is okay yeah okay that's not too tight for him it's not uncomfortable so you leave that for a while you leave that for a good four minutes and shall open that that will draw all the, the the blood to this area and you'll see it will go red Ayn. Um, now, we advise people who suffer from Ayn, people who suffer from Sihr, and even people that suffer from Jinn possession. Actually, Jinns hate this. They hate the blade on their skin, especially Hijama. They hate the word even Hijama. They hate the word Ruqya. They hate any remedies that come from the Sunnah. They hate it. Okay? So, this is a way of drawing out bad, toxic blood in your, in your skin or in your, in your blood system and it has an effect on ayin and it has effect on sihr okay um one of them is sweating that's a way of drawing out uh ayin. another is vomiting the other way is diarrhea and anything that's leaving your body impurity ways of leaving your body is all good for ayin and it's all good for hijam uh, another good remedy is applying smearing olive oil all over your skin it's very very good I advise everyone who is afflicted with sihr or ayn or, or mess or jinn possession is to smear olive oil into their skin and to eat from olive oil before they go to sleep. And it's advice, advice of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. إله الكون قد زادت ذنوبي وفي العصيان قد تاهت دروبي فألهمني طريق الحق دربا 
ولا تكشف أيا ربي عيوبي إلى هل